Hello everybody and welcome to my 29th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to go into random numbers um, so let's go into here and we're going to create a uh, guess my number game so sub uh, random number guess right so first of all how do we get a random number and um, this is how so let's put a message box and we want it to show a random number so rnd is what you use for the random number and let's play this okay let's loop it to do it a few times just so we can see it working so 4x equals 1 2 10 next right so let's play this now so you'll notice that what this is doing is creating a random number uh, between 0 and 1 um, it's, this one is e to the uh, minus uh, 2 so this is actually really little um, it's more like 0 0.01 um, we'll do that sometimes and again this is 0 0.04 kind of thing so um, that's what RND does a random number between 0 and 1 so um, I want to do it with integers so I want my um, I want to make it an integer between one and ten. So I'm going to create a new function. So uh, and I'm going to make a private function uh, random number and by val um, upper number as integer. In fact, I'm going to go for lower number first. So lower number as integer comma by val upper number as integer and it's going to return an integer as integer All right. and then we want this function to generate this number so this is a fairly uh, fairly complex to remember formula but you can just get it by going into the objects browser and if you scroll up um, if you go down to math and R&D and go on to the help let me bring this over here and then it's got it here anyway so you can just go into here and you can copy this um, and then go back to your function and paste that in and make um, your random number equal to that and then you just need to take out and put in the variables that you have so lower bound, lower bound, upper, upper so this is taking um, the value of the upper uh, the upper range and the lower range um, and adding one so that's working out how many different numbers there should be and uh, timesing it by random which is again a random number between 0 and 1 so it's just increasing the size of it so it encompasses the range that we want it to and then we're adding the lower number onto it so this will generate, um, so say we put in 10 and 5, it would do 10 minus 5 plus 1, which is uh, 6, and it, so it would span numbers between 0 and 6, and then it's going to add 5 onto those, so it's, and then it's going to turn them into an integer, and what integer does is floor it, so even though it's technically going up to um, going between values from 5 to up to 11 um, but not including 11 because random doesn't include 1 then 
uh, integer is going to floor it off and it's going to make either 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10. So let's then use this. So we don't want that. We want a random number between 5 and 10. And I'll probably paste this function somewhere for you. Um, I'll probably put it in the comments, or uh, we are, we're making a website for this to go on. So we'll definitely go on the website then. But um, this is a really good function to have, and you could probably just uh, Google uh, VBA random number function, and you'll come up with it anyway. Um, but let's play this now. So seven, ten, nine. 7, 10, 5, 10, 7, 8, and apparently really like 7. Um, yeah, if we put in 1, and we, uh, I'm going to change it to 5 because I'm annoyed of the sound that keeps coming out of my computer when it does it. So 8, 1, 6, 5, 3. And instead of doing it as message box, what might be nice to do is just to go uh, this workbook dot sheets one dot cells one comma x dot value equals so you can use it in um, every way you normally would it's just generating an integer it just generates a different one each time and if we put that to 50 um, 50 and then play this and then go into here then uh, you'll notice that they've gone across like that. Um, I kind of wanted them to go downwards, so let's study them and switch these around. Say x comma one, and play that, and go back into here. And then we got a nice list of all the different numbers, and it's from generating random ones between north and ten. So let's just check that they are. Um, Let's just check how many of each one we got to make sure it's fair. So we want one, two, and uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're just going to do a quick little formula to check these. So equals count if. And then we want all of that one, comma, and then the box above. And we want to protect this one. Um, and I'm going to do some tutorials on normal Excel and formulas and things. So if you don't understand what's going on here, then check out those tutorials. Um, right. So let's also change this to 1,000 or 10,000. That'd be good. And play that. So it's generating 10,000 random numbers. And it might take a while. Um, 10,000 was probably quite a high number to choose. Uh, let's pause it and see how many it's done. Um, no. So here we go. Right. So let's see where it's gone to. Um, So it went down to 691, so it did quite a few. It takes a little while to generate them. But you'll notice that these are kind of fairly even. They're, they're not that even, but they're, they get in there. Um, and any of you that do maths will know that eventually they're probably even out if I'd have actually made it go to 10,000 rather than just to 691. Um, and they're all just random, random, random. So that is random numbers. Um, and we want to put them into a random number game and my mouse has decided to run out of battery um, so okay so I've just stolen a battery now for my, so my mouse is working again um, stole it from my new, new Sky remote it's just moved house and uh, got Sky installed so this is mouse powered courtesy of Rupert Murdoch um, so he's not all bad. He's not as bad as the media make out. Um, 
so let's make this random number game uh, sponsored by Rupert Murdoch. So let's get rid of this. And we want, um, first of all, to generate the number. So my number equals random number and we want it between 1 and 100 so uh, we want um, player guess equals input box and guess a tab. welcome to guess my number please choose a number between 1 to 100 and then we want to do until player guess equals my number loop right and so every time we want to go uh, we want to test whether it's higher or less so if my number is greater than player guess then else and if I like to put my else as an end ifs in as I'm doing it but other people like to um, do it as they type along um, say so, say so if it's greater than then inputs box um, player guess equals input box then higher or too low try again and then we want pretty much the same thing down here except too high try again and then outside of the loop we're going to have message box Oh man, you win. Right, so let's play this. So, welcome to Guess Moon Number. Please choose a number between 100. So, let's go for 50. And then, too high, try again. So, let's go for 1. Too high, try again. So, this means my code's wrong. So, let's go. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to go through everything. Uh, Let's just go for a tropical break and right. So what let's play it again. Let's play it again quickly. So one is too high. It's all too high. It's always going too high. So why is it always going too high? Okay, so what we need to do is this gets passed in as a string. So we want to make this an integer. So uh, let's just dim my number, comma, player guess as integer. Just make sure that they're the right ones. And then when we play this now, one, too high. Zero, too high, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so just because this is the wrong way around, we'll say let's play this again. So, one too low, nine too high, six. Oh man, you win! Let's play again. One too low, nine too high, six. Uh, 
let's pray again. One, two low, nine, two high, five, two high, four, two high, three, you win. And it's just a random number every time. So one, two low, nine, two high, two, two low, six, two high, five, four. And that's it. So that's the end of this tutorial. I uh, went on a bit longer than planned. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.